Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a cocktail by Lou the Bartender that I found on Instagram. It's called Frog's Breath, and it's a very, very pretty cocktail. And I, as you all know, I like my pretty cocktails. So, this has a few steps, and it's going to be a lot of fun to put together, so let's get into it. Now this is a simple build in the glass cocktail, but I have to build it in two separate parts. So we're gonna start the one half first, grab yourself a container of some type. And what you're gonna do is grab your moonshine. Now in this case, I'm using white rye by the Silver Fox Distillery. They're about 45 minutes away from me and Arthur. And we're going to use an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. Now that you've done that, what we're going to do is we are going to add three quarters of an ounce of a melon liqueur. I'm using Midori liqueur here. And the reason we're doing this is we are thinning out the liqueur so that it'll float on top. So trust me, it's gonna be important. So we're gonna use three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. Perfect. Now what we are going to do is we're just going to put this off to the side like that. Now, we're not gonna forget about it, trust me, but you are going to grab your glass of choice. In this case, I choose to use a tulip glass, use whatever you want. And what we're going to do is we're gonna fill this up with ice. And you want your ice to be a little bit smaller. You don't need it to be very big because this will aid in the actual separation of layers. These uh, smaller, compact little bits of ice. So this will work out really, really good, trust me. Now what we are gonna do is we're gonna come back and grab a melon liqueur again. And what we're going to do is add one ounce or 30 milliliters. Awesome, I love this stuff. Now you could use whatever type of melon liqueur you want. I just like the Midori because of the sheer fancy greenness of it all. Next, what we are going to do is we are going to use a little bit of pineapple juice. And I'm going to use pure pressed pineapple juice. I don't want anything with added sugar. And I definitely don't want any pulp. And we're going to use two ounces or 60 milliliters. Perfect. Now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to add some lemon juice. Now in this case, I should say lemonade, all right? This will have some of the sweetness you need and give you some of the tartness that you want. And we're gonna use one ounce or 30 milliliters, and we're going to pour this gently on the side like so. Awesome, I love it. So what we're gonna do is we're now just gonna move this over just a little bit. And what we are going to do next is squeeze out three quarters of an ounce of actual lemon juice, which is kind of interesting considering the fact we've already used some lemonade. However, having said that, this will be zero sugar added, and this will give us just that little bit more tartness. And we'll, again, pour that on slowly. Awesome. Now, what we are gonna do is just add a couple more cubes on top here, just to sort of fill up that space. Uh, you don't have to, totally up to you. Just three small cubes, just enough. And what we are now going to do is we are going to take our white rye moonshine and our green Midori, and we're gonna slowly pour it on top using the spout. Now all you have to do is grab your lemon lime soda. Now in this case, uh, Lou the bartender used mist. Uh, however, I don't have any of that, so I'm gonna use a little bit of Sprite. And he said you only need a splash. Look at that. Now, what we wanna do is grab a lemon wedge, then grab some nuclear cherries because no tropical cocktail is good without nuclear cherries. Slide them in like so, and then just put them on top like this. And there you have a frog's breath. Absolutely gorgeous looking, and it's exactly what I want. You're gonna have a lot of the alcohol up top, and you can have the sweet juice to the sweeter melon liqueur. Now what you can do is you can mix it or you can throw a straw in there and drink up the layer so that you start sweet and then it becomes more alcoholic as you go through the drink. What I will do is I will put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below. And if this is the first time to my channel, please, <clears throat> 
sorry. And if this is your first time to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time we put up a new video, you'll be notified. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on rocks because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You have a fantastic day.